Hi, I'm Knowles, a One Defense Pure Completionist. My goals are simple. Finish all quests, all achievements, all combat achievements, max my account, obtain all of the raids pets, and do some collection log slots. Welcome to the Pure Completionist series. So something I've been dreading, but I'm gonna knock out early is the angler outfit. It's mainly just for collection log slots, but it'll be nice while I go for uh, 99 fishing as well, since I am on the lower levels of that. So I will be back when I get an angler piece. GL. Oh, beautiful. Oh, thank goodness. Holy crap, that, that was a little bit dry, not gonna lie. It took 23 things for that. 39. Nice. 49. Yes, and we're done. Beautiful. We can leave this place forever. So the next thing we're going to do is get the thieving outfit. I think it's the fastest one to get, so let's knock it out. So I actually got one of the kits, but I realized that 80 thieving makes it significantly faster. So we'll just get this outfit in the future. So we're gonna be getting the Clue Hunter outfit for Winter Todd. And for whatever reason, I already had this, but um, yeah, we're just gonna go collect all that. And another one, and another. Oh, this got a combat task for repairing this thing. Oh, and it looks like I'm gonna have to repair it again. There's another one down. Look at that. Oh, look at that. 5KC gets me another combat task. Pet. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was not expecting that. That's really freaking sick. All right, I got another uh, look. I got another task done, leaving no one behind. Nice. All righty, about to get a level. There we go. 77 fire making. And there's another combat task. We got 10 done. I'm actually going to go do a farming run, but I want to do a little crate opening, so GL me. Nothing, nothing. Okay, ooh, all right, all right. Burnt pages, that's a collection log. And then the pyromancy hood, which is good. Boom. And, okay. That was, uh, that was solid. Just missed it, but that's 78 fire making. So we hit 20 kill count, so I'm going to do a little 10 crate opening. Nothing pages nothing 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 <laughs> please give me a collection log slot please ah uh, how unfortunate Alrighty, so i'm gonna try this it is the weekend right now so i don't have a huge amount of hope for not getting killed here but i'm only risking 100k but we're gonna we're gonna try to get some calvarion i think that's how you say it casey Oh my god. <laughs> Which will be cool. Void Waker. Wow, that's a pretty good drop. Holy crap, that's Tears of Guthix complete. Alrighty, and that's Tribal Totem done. That is Clock Tower finished. Sleeping Giants complete. That's Below Ice Mountain. So I've never tried this place before, but you can get a wieldable hammer. So I kind of want to do that, especially when I start to do uh, the grind for the construction outfit. So we're going to give this a shot and see what happens. Yes! Oh my god! Finally! I'm just going to get the freaking smithing level. Oh my goodness. That took so long <laughs> to get... Corsair Curse complete. That's 190 quest points and our 100th quest completion. So we're making our way up there. Scorpion Catcher done. Alrighty, Eagle's Peak done. Well, I uh, killed the deranged archaeologist. I honestly didn't even realize that was who I was supposed to be fighting. <laughs> so we got some combat tasks out of the way. We're going to kill 25 of these things just to finish it out, but it should be a very very easy set of combat tasks to get done and that's 10 killed 
That's 25 kill count. And all of the combat tasks done for deranged archaeologist. I cannot believe it. I can't believe it. Easy log slot. And that's 10 KC. Alrighty, that's 25 kills done. Nice. Easy combat task. I'm just getting to five, so I have a kill count on my um on my log. That's five KC, so finally I am ranked in this. Do we get the pet? And nope. That's okay though. We're finally ranked in it. Okay, we're gonna try out some combat achievements and see if I can um Kill Carols with Specs. Good. Come on. Yes! There we go. Nice. Peace. Oh. Nice. There's the combat achievement, though. Oh. Okay. Alrighty. Another combat task. Alrighty. Should be good here. Barrel's Peace? No, but another combat task done. 25 KC, and I got a Torag's plate, but I forgot to record it. Dang, I'm half tempted to let it do its whole... Nah, no, no, no. Nice, alrighty, combat task done. That was way harder than I thought it was going to be, to be honest with you, though. Nice, I think I got the combat achievement. Yeah, look at that. Easy. That was actually really good. Okay, but now we're ranked on the highest score, so we don't care, and we got some combat achievements, so that worked out pretty good. That's Garden of Death complete. That's Anakra's Lament, or however you say it. But another quest done. That's Zogar Flesh Eaters done. Alrighty, that's Rum Deal done. Also got 65 Fishing and 53 Prayer. That is Cabin Fever. There's the Great Brain Robbery done, which gives us nothing. But we're really close to 54 prayer. There we go. Collection log slot for Beekeeper's Legs. Nice. Alrighty, I'm going to repair the barrel chest anchor just for the fun of it. Nice. And we're going to use our lamp on runecrafting to get to 51. There's Rag and Bone Man 1. Alrighty, after a long time, I finished Rag and Bone Man 2, which is going to give us 54 prayer. And that means I have done every single prayer point quest I could possibly do. And look at that, 90 combat. Two combat achievements done. Very easy. Now it's just a time-based thing. That is 84 farming for us. So protect from Alien. There we go. Jeez, I have no idea what that was about. It's like the most bizarre thing. Just accidentally finished a combat task of Mudda Diet, so that's pretty cool. There's another combat task done. Please hit. Alrighty. Well. That's uh, so well ohm. Hopefully I get the uh, teleport thing. Nope. There's a combat achievement for repairing the mast. There's my first Tempros done. That is 5 KC at Tempros. Okay. Yeah, there are the spirit flakes and there's a collection log for us. 93 cooking. Pretty nice. And there we go. And a combat task done. Cool. Two more collection log slots. That means I am done with this mini game, which is a random event. So that's pretty cool. 85 farming. There's 74 Slayer. Yay, combat achievement. Easy. Did we get the pet? No, we definitely didn't. Easy points. Easy. The hard combat achievements taken care of. So I'm going to. Oh, wait, no, no, no. We're going to unimbue 
both of these, talk to him, upgrade our hilt, which will be very nice for points. Yeah, look at that. Okay, I can drop that thing now. Rub this for runecraft. 15,000, which gets us a 52. There's 75 Slayer. Okay, I think I got it. No! I don't think it'll go through because that stupid altar spawned. Oh, nice, a Dark Claw. All right, there's a collection log slot. Okay. Nice, no damage. Oh, we got all of them done, I think. Yeah, I think we did all of the combat achievements. Nice. Ooh, all right. Decent drop. I'll take it. Got a combat task done on accident. 94 cooking. All righty. There are 50 Zoro kills right there. And there's 95 cooking. Alrighty, there are the uh, mediums done for the Desert Diary. So now we get this nice little desert amulet, an antique lamp, which we're going to put in ring crafting, and we can put more charges in our Pharaoh Scepter, so that's pretty nice. Unfortunately, I wasn't recording, but I got Perfect Zabak, which is a nice one to get out of the way. And there's another combat task done. That will conclude the first episode of the Pure Completionist series. I was planning on releasing this after I got an Infernal Cape, but I've been having a hard time getting it. I've gone to Triple Jads twice and Zuck once, and I think that I'll be able to get it soon, but that will be the focus of the next episode. If you enjoyed, please make sure to subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell for updates on this account. Anyways, I will see you all in the next one.